Hello, I'm Virginia, and welcome to Energy Matters News. The federal government has announced a complete phase-out of the solar credits multiplier six months earlier than planned. This means a 50% reduction of the subsidy. Households who entered into a contract to purchase a solar power system prior to November 16 will not be affected. Those looking to go solar now must have their system installed by the 1st of January in order to be eligible for the two times multiplier. The world's second largest manufacturer of solar inverters, Power One, has released a new product range and strengthened its warranties. The new Power One Aurora Uno inverters have been designed to withstand Australia's often harsh conditions. Featuring an efficiency of 96.3%, the UNO inverters are particularly well suited to smaller solar installations. Power One has also announced enhanced warranty for its Australian customers. Australian-made and designed Sunlock solar panel framing systems now support 50 megawatt of solar capacity. Designed by Energy Matters, Sunlock was launched in Australia just a few years ago and has rapidly become the hardware of choice for many solar installers. Products include the original system for rooftops, as well as the newly added ground lock ground mounted system and pole lock pole mounted frame. The Lightning Superbike set an electric motorcycle land speed record a few days ago with help from a mobile solar power unit featuring SMA Sunny Island inverters. The solar-powered motorcycle attained a speed of just over 304 kilometers per hour, blasting past the previous record of 273 kilometers per hour. The Sunny Island is SMA's battery-based inverter charger for off-grid and backup power applications. Thanks for watching and don't forget to check the Energy Matters website for further information on any of the news items covered in this episode.